Hello, sweet tooth here. Hope your day is going well. Hakuna Matata. Welcome back. Let's play some more Final Fantasy VIII. Alright, let's go listen in to uh, what the seed mission is about. This is Zell. And Selfie. Hi everyone. This way. Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance, the Forest Owls, will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? It all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vinzer Deling. Our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Vinzer de Ling is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President de Ling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to... Blow out to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Ah, not quite. So get to the point, just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding in it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it look to look just like the president's car. Their train has three parts. First there's the locomotive followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. De Ling should be inside. If you made it to look like it, the president's car is blue. President's car is red. Anyways, I don't know if that's just this explanation or if it actually is that color. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with their president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. Sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car is the only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. A high-tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. The Ling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Have the dummy car and our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. Uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will be similar to the first. 
Escape with the President's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the President's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront the Ling. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. So get on second escort, proceed across it, go across the president's car, and couple the first escort car. The dummy car and our base move in. Couple the second escort car. Escape with the president's car. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point, and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes. You sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should take only three minutes to complete the, the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course. Too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor. So move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying the sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one. When a guard opens the blind, that means he is checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window. So keep an eye on the window below, sir. So exactly how do you avoid them? Stop if there is a blue guard below you. Run if there is a red guard below you. Uh, basically a run or stop depending on which guard is below you. Stop on blue. Run on red. Undertale. You see how that's very similar to Undertale? That's about it for sensors. Next, let's talk, talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question! How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with a control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. And we have the codes. Renoa has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 to 4 and has 4 digits. Um, 2, 3, 4 is an example. But the keypad won't have numbers, instead it'll have 4 buttons. Oh, this is going to be hard with these controls. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. <laughs> I'll try. <clears throat> For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll push B3, B2. Okay. You'll have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five seconds to enter each code. Okay. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try practicing by entering the code. Enter three codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down B5. Uh.
CS BX CS BX CS SCBX Okay, I almost feel like I gotta write this down. Because these controls are very weird. One second. I can't do this on the controller. I have to do it with the uh, keypad. S B X one two three one two. Man, this is horrible. This is horrible. Second. So freaking out, game. Yeah, that's one. Three one three one. B S B. Okay. Three two two three. S X X S. Okay. Well, this is gonna be uh, really hard. Okay. In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. Um. That's all. By the way, this model is nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, Renault made it. That's why. We bought everything else at the gift store. That code's gonna be terrible. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks too. Yeah, it kind of does. Let's see. One, four, two. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So V is one, X is two, S is three, C is four. Okay. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards Dilling. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? Do you understand? Yes, but this is going to be so painful. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better.
Galbadius Dictator, President Vincer De Ling Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. President De Ling became the president after the Second Sorceress War went ended. To gain support quickly, he carried out the Invasion of Timber. It was only a ploy to decorate an already corrupt man's immoral career. A land timber was brutally destroyed. Here began Vincer de Ling's road to dictatorship. To imprison anti-government sympathizers, the D District prison was built in the desert south of de Ling City. Millions were spent to build the facility. The threat of being sent to the prison intensified de Ling's unpopularity. The prison began imprisoning Galbadian anti-government sympathizers just as they did in Timber. Moreover, the leaders of the resistance movements faced the threat of having family members imprisoned as well. Around this time, De Ling began surrounding himself with loyalists, only with loyalists, which turned him into an even more fierce dictator. With the exception of Esther, the Galbadian military possesses the world's only long-range missiles. Although never used in combat, their existence has become a worldwide threat. It is said that the missiles have the ability to hit any target with astounding accuracy even without using radio signals. Will the time come for the president to push the button? When the time comes, the print is blurred on the last part. And that's alluding to some stuff that's going to happen. One thing you want to do is you want to go back to the room, because now there's this. Pet Pals Volume 2. The importance of the Pet Pals, and just like any of the other books, is that not only do they provide your ability to make custom weapons, to know what the materials are, they also help your character's limit bricks, Pet Pals being Renoa's. So now Angelo has a move called Angelo Recover. Angelo go find and use potions and other cures and members who is near KO with this trick. Nice. It's very important. Uh, actually, I gotta say it. This whole code thing is gonna be, uh... This is gonna be a pain. Have you seen a dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look. See, it's like a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but best of luck to you, sir. Uh, not yet. Because 12,000 gil. See, that's why I do the seed test. Uh, where is it? Is it over here? Oh, here it is. I'm in a bad mood right now. There's no nothing in particular. I order you to leave immediately. The dummy looks real, huh? No one will ever realize that it's a fake. Catch up with the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should time our jumps well after we catch up to them to save some time. 
From now on, we have exactly five minutes to complete the operation. Let's try to use every second. Squall over here. After we get across, we'll proceed with the first uncoupling. Sir, everything is in order, sir. You again. That's 27 times now. How many more times do you plan to disturb me with that meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but it is my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Sir, yes sir. There he goes next month's paycheck. How am I going to propose to her now? I'm going to have to put it off again. This is the first escort. We're going to uncouple this first. Like Watt said, there should be two guards on this car. Selfie and Zell, you keep guys keep an eye on the guard. Let us know early if they are coming. Alright, I'll watch for the blue guard. I'll take the red. The red guard is closer. Skull, you might want to keep an eye on him too. Hold down B5 to look at your left and release it. To go back. Okay, you ready to enter the code? It's gonna be hard. We'll have to enter three codes to disable the circuit for this uncoupling. The system to enter the codes is down there. You can't miss it. Press down on the directional button to go down. Come back up. <laughs> Press up. You won't be able to come up while you're entering the code, so be careful. We have four minutes left. Good luck, Squall. Two, three, one. Damn it. Four, two, three, three. Two, three, three. Two, 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 four. Come on, go up, go up. How do I? Damn it! Come on. Seven minutes. Can I... How do I go up? How... None of these buns work, man. I don't... Oh. 
I don't remember. God, this is difficult. Two 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 four. X X X C. Go. Get back up. All right. Three four two one. Three four two one. Yeah, cool. Can I go up? Well, the game was kind of leading in some regards. It gave me, uh... The game gave me a few more minutes, and it made some of the codes easier than the others. But doing this on keyboard, or the controller, through Steam, this is impossible. Like, if it mixes up the numbers. Like, it confuses me too much. What should I do? I know he's not gonna like it. You know, I could actually map the keys in order to be 1, 2, 3, 4. As she says they are. Or wants them. That would make it so much easier. Oh well, let me, let's just get through this. Sir, everything is in order, sir. Huh, he's not angry. Phew, that's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder where he got it. What? Is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. There's nothing in particular. I ordered you to leave immediately. Sir, I, I, yes, sir. You, don't just stand there. Get back to your station. There goes another paycheck. That's two in one day. What the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I gonna do? No ring and now no more candlelight dinner. I'm never going to be able to get married. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards in this car, too. Cell and Selfie are up ahead, working on coupling our train from theirs. So you're on your own this time. Five codes to disable the circuit for this connection. No, oh, please. I guess. I guess. Yeah, good luck. One, one, four, three. BBC. Yeah, there we go. Two, 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 two. two. Up. One one P B S C. Hold up. Alright, one one two two. B B X X. Ah, go, go, go. <laughs> two two one one. X X B B. Oh, that's not bad. I have no idea how to look to the side though.
I do always find that interesting, though, how they pulled that off. Finally, we waited so long for this encounter with Vizier. Excellent, sir. Well done, sir. Super Depa, sir. Well then. Leave the intelligence up to me, sir. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations. Better make sure my GF's equipped. Selfie do magic, I think. Everyone's at full of health right now. Nope, they aren't. I could actually have Renoa on the team. Should I? Let's, um, remove everything from Selfie. Exchange. Wait, do I have to do it this way? Take all of Zell's magic. Okay. I should do magic on Zill because I don't think, uh, I just saw... I just saw that Selfie didn't have much cures, so... Oh, I can't switch. I can't be, uh, Renoa right now. Well, that sucks. Okay, um, take all your magic back. get killed. The boss music that's coming up I really like and it's called Between a Plank and Perdi Perdition. President DeLing, as long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, 
What would you do, young lady? What's wrong? Hoo hoo. Too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. You pass along a little false information and they fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Amateurs? My butt hurts from all this sitting, young lady. Ah, so what did you have in store for me that I had resisted? Why don't you tell me? Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? Yes, he did just bite Zell. <laughs> because the body double is actually a zombie. How that works inside a train, I have no idea. What the? Garo Garo, I'm not sure that posed as present delay. Attacks with its deformed arms and status effects. Undead monster. I wonder if a phoenix down would work on him. Let's try it. Oh wait, I never checked on the uh, what you can draw from him. <laughs> um, I'm just curious. 
I don't really want to reload the save, but let's look it up. Let's see, what, what can you get from this guy? Asuna Double Berserk and Zombie. Okay. Interesting. Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. I can't believe it's not butter. It's big news. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to be on this to going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. The TV station. Why in timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dalek communication tower has anything to do with this? What's that? Dalek has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcast over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. So what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that. What I want to know is, what is the president going to do to broadcast? Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everybody. Love and peace. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. It's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hey! That might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. Can you guys give us a minute? I guess. Call that a strategy meeting? Can we go home now? What about a contract? Shouldn't we check it, Squall? Exactly. What? What is in their contract on this? <laughs> oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. What's it say? Balam Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges the forest owls hereafter referred to as Party B as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. The hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. Sid is such a nice man. What's to say this time? To the Forest Elves, this seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. <laughs> until Timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no replacement of any seed members can be made. 
Lamb Guard and Headmaster Sid Kramer. Until Timber's Independence? That is so vague. Hey, you're paid professionals, no complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. So, of the four of us, the ones who will head to heading to the TV station will be I like Zell. Zell's pretty awesome. I'm not really into selfie too much. Junction exchange. Pretty much just gives the other person everything. So you don't have to set it up. Password on the train, I probably could have made it a lot easier if I mapped the keys in order to be a one, two, three, four. Just with the numbers on the, the uh, keyboard. It would have been very, very straightforward. The problem is, I had, I just kept it as default. And now I actually know what they are. Isn't that weird? S is three, V is one, X is two, and C is four. Forget it. But the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready, sir? Yeah. Best of luck, sir. I'll be keeping watch here. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information? He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. He was asked taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Blam. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go up to ever anybody and... Hmm, these are citizens. We can't inflict any. How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Please hear me out to the very end. Don't hurt the citizens. <laughs> Say, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. What? Come on. The Galbadian soldiers are coming. Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the owl's tier, sir. Heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. I guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey! Don't 
Don't leave me, sir. Time to go shopping. GF learns an ability? Oh. But most important, these two. Makes GF forget an ability. Well, I don't want to get them right now. Look at him. It's just cute. My parents got me Georgie at this pet shop. Like the trains have stopped running. Usually the local trains would be running here. A lot of hustle and bustle. The status effects follow you. I guess I'm used to games nowadays where status effects and your health like return after you're done with the fight. Not in the old games though. And they usually don't tell you what these statuses are. You have to look at little icons. What that is, is that's darkness. Uh, which means being blinded. It's harder to see, and accuracy is taking a hit. Yeah, weapons. Oh! Oh, I already have it. Okay. Oh. What I wanted to do is I wanted to see... These two pet volumes. Invincible Moon. Make all allies invincible. Interesting. Angelo Reverse. Your dog finds Phoenix Downs to revive KO'd party members in battle. I'm allergic to cats. My daughter loves them. What am I to do? Oh no, I'm sorry. You can't stay here tonight. Can't say this out loud, but there are a bunch of roughnecks from Galbadia staying here right now. 
I understand. Thanks, Miss DeMarco. Oh, Renata. How long have we known each other? Call me Francesca. I'm behind you all the way. Good luck. My father made it. Strange to be praised for it. Thanks. Hmm. So cute. Some really mean looking guy was looking for you, but are you... Good or bad? Good, of course. Good. So I guess you like cats too, right? Yippee! Pet the cat? No? Oh, okay. Better keep your eyes peeled. If you let one resistance member in here, your dear kids are, well, dead meat. We have to get to the TV station fast. I can't bear to watch them suffer like this. So I heard everyone here supports the resistance. You guys are such fools. Just imagine how much this place would thrive if you were loyal to us. This place is going to be stuck in the backwoods forever. And you? Are you happy with your life? Blindly following orders every day? Doing things you probably don't believe in? So what if we're unde undeveloped? We're not looking to thrive. All we want is to be able to stand on our own feet. To be independent and live according to what we believe. You guys will probably never understand, having thrown away your pride and dignity. We're not fools. You are. You're both dead. No. No! No! You know, Renoa actually hits harder than Squall. Can you believe that? And it's only if I pull off the, uh... Um... Well, you gotta press a certain button just like you do with the gun blade in order to do the additional damage. It's usually R1 on the PS... Uh, PlayStation controller. Well, I guess it is R1, isn't it? Because I do have PlayStation controller. Oh, okay. Thank you for your help. I got a little carried away. We appreciate your help, but we can't let you through here. I'm sorry. Um... Dark side command. Mug. Need to learn mug. Now that I remember. It's for uh, Quistus. Recovery medicine from an item. Find hidden save and draw points. Actually, that's that's very useful. It means when you're on the overworld, um, just randomly click uh, 
press the uh, event button or activation button, something like that, whatever it's called, it's square. You might find a uh, draw point or a save point. It's really neat. So, let's go back in the hotel for a second. I'm looking around. Gatie gets mad if you go in without paying. Sorry, Gatie. Um, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to pick it up in the next one. Uh, it's getting kind of long. I don't want to do like an hour and a half on videos. So I can try to keep it to an hour. Alright, so I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. I hope you have yourself a good day, and this is Sweet Tooth signing off. Love you.